What is happening, Internet? And welcome back to Purple Dragon 2. So I am back from next week, and by next week I mean last week, because I promised that was when I was going to do the uh, the next Spyro episode as usual, but it turns out I was out of town and couldn't do one. Good thing I saw that coming. But now we are picking up right where we left off. So unfortunately it has been uh, two weeks since the last episode, but, um, well, unless you're watching the, the, whole, the whole series one after the other, because in that case it's probably only been a few seconds. But anyway, um, the adventure continues. Ahem, <clears throat> time travel jokes. Alrighty, so we are picking up where we left off, and um, wait, Autumn Plains? Hang on. Okay, so yeah, we are still picking up where we left off for a second. I was afraid somehow I'd lost progress, but no, we've still got 100% of everything in Autumn Plains. We got to Winter Tundra, just for some reason, the, uh, the last checkpoint the game decided to return us to is here in Autumn Plains instead of the beginning of Winter Tundra. I'll be back in a second, you guys. Okay, here we are. You know, it was probably because of the uh, backtracking we did last episode to uh, get those um, the, the gems and orbs that we uh, weren't able to do because we didn't have the head bash that we um, that we that the game ported us back to Autumn Plains instead of Winter Tundra where we're supposed to be. Anyway, I am super on the ball today, you guys. So we are in, here in the uh, first section of Winter Tundra. We've got lots of gems and stuff scattered about. Also, we've got these giant rocks that we need to head bash. Booyah! And we've got some really small fried gems in there. I'm uh, going to ignore the first couple of levels for now and just focus on gathering up these gems because this is a really nice looking home world. Isn't it nice? It kind of reminds me of the um, the uh, Magic Crafters home world back from uh, the first game. And let's see, there's our first level there, Mr. Oh, there was an orb in there? There was an orb in there. There was an orb in there, you guys. Uh, how many orbs are in Winter Tundra? I thought there were only two. Nope, there's three. All right. Maybe, maybe the next one's in another rock. Quick, smash all the rocks. And here we've got a... Uh... Oh, hey, hey, we've got the professor in here. I mean, I remember this ice spot, but I don't remember the professor. Uh, which level is this? It's not a speedway, I don't think. Hang on, hang on, let me see if I can guess. Um, Cloud Spires? Well, it's some consolation that you've is there even a level named Cloud Spires in this game? My Fuck me, I'm bad at this. Here will take you to Cloud, Temples. Cloud Temple, I was close, I got mm -hmm. half of it. Okay, so that's the one with uh, some wizards and a bunch of other places. It's actually the uh, counterpart level to Mystic Marsh, which we saw here for a split second. That's the, uh, that's the level I was thinking of. Couldn't remember the name, though. Okay, so I think we're almost done with the, uh, first half of the level out here. Oh, we've got a couple more rocks to, uh, to smash. And then after that, we're gonna hit Mystic Marsh first, because that's the, uh, the level that we saw on the way in. And I see we've got a bullseye chest right here. And then... And then... Is that, is that all that's down here? I thought I saw another rock. Oh, yes, there is. And there's a Laura up there, just kind of standing around, being as helpful as ever. And as transcendental as ever, as we as we established last time. And I think there's another um, passage to go down there, but we'll we'll come back to that another time. For now, we've cleared up all the gems out of this first section of Winter Tundra. So here is level one, Mystic Marsh, 128. Such a nice number. Save complete. Alrighty, that was exciting. Ah, oh, so we got a uh, fountain here and some uh, rabbit ears. No, wait, those are I think that's hair. And we got some snails with tusks. Alrighty. Oh, and then they, um, interesting voice. Oh, they're also elephants. Aha, that's, and they're stampeding. That one kind of ran through the fountain for a second there. That was, that was interesting. I guess this is, I guess that's how that works here. Alrighty, Mystic Marsh. So, uh, what's up, pigtail braids guy? I draw the water wizard. I knew your name. It sure would help if you could find out what evil force is behind this disaster. Mm-hmm. Evil force, huh? Did you pay the bill? That was my that was my Daxter impression. Could you tell? I could tell. Okay, so apparently the uh, magic fountain is what powers these guys' magic, and uh, since that mysteriously went off in the opening cutscene, now shit's going all weird. And I guess that means snails are turning into elephants, which might be how this world is. Might be how this world works. I don't know. Um, ooh, power up already. Um, 20, 20 enemies. That's kind of a lot. Um. I wonder if that's going to be everything from the, well, what kind of power-up is that? I think, uh, if memory serves, this is actually the, uh, spring jump power-up, and it leads up to the top of this cliff where we get, uh, some other stuff. There's more level up there. But yeah, there's... If it takes 20, there's probably a lot of enemies in this level. Oh, gonna have to be prepared for that. Anyway, here's our, uh, friend the fountain, who is, uh, magically on vacation. Or, goddammit. Probably not so magically. It's a nice fountain. I got one of those, he lied. Uh, let's see if we've got to... Whoa, there's a, one of our elephants. Came running straight at us. How fast do elephants run in real life? Because that thing didn't give us a whole lot of time. Oh, want to back off from this? It's not an elephant, but that doesn't mean it's safe to stand near. And also, I saw a frog over on that side there. Let's go ahead and uh, grab that. Yes. And now what? Ooh, we got a monkey thing. Purple monkey. Actually, is that a monkey? 
Ah, oh, goddammit. Fucking, there better be a lot of frogs in this level, too. <laughs> I think that was supposed to be a lemur. I don't know, I can't really tell. Someone who knows more about the, uh, the zoology of virtual creatures, let me know. And then I guess that's all from that side of the bridge, so I guess we come back over here and we've got some, uh, what is that, some kind of rhino snail? Everything's in a snail shell in this level. Because I live in a swamp, but not everything is in a snail shell around here. Okay, well, there was another frog, thankfully for us, but now we've also got, ooh, there's another one. It's almost like the game is listening to me. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Elephant. And there we go, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Edge of river. Oh, and there's shit in here. Wonderful. Uh, I'll, I'll come back to that because I missed some gems over here. Uh, oh, I noticed yet another frog. I think I'll go ahead and kill this thing anyway because it'll get us cl closer to an extra life. And, oh boy, this looks fun. Okay, so we've got a giant elephant that's going to charge us. We've got a rhino snail that's going to charge us. And also we've got a monkey lemur to throw shit at us. Let's see, how should we attack this? Um, the uh, jerkiness of the camera here is kind of getting to me. Uh, uh, I guess we'll just... Uh, hmm, I feel like I can kite the elephant. Okay, so the lemur's throwing shit. That's fine. We're out of his area. There we go. Ha ha. <laughs> All right, so two stones with one bird. Excellent. And now let's wait for this guy. No? Okay. Thought he was about to keep throwing shit, but no. Well, that was wonderful. That worked out pretty well. Tactics. All right, and here we've got some... What is this? What is this? What is this? This isn't water. This, is, this isn't water. I, I know what water looks like. I know a thing or two about water. I live in Florida, and this is not water. Actually, this is um, this is looking a lot like what was it? The Peacekeepers world from the first one. They had um, purple Kool Aid like this, or no? I guess it's I guess it's green Kool Aid, isn't it? Ha <laughs> ha! Throwbacks. But yeah, that's. I feel like they should really get that checked out. I don't think the uh, the fountain is their only water problem they're having around here. Okay, so let's ignore the. Oh, it's gonna say let's ignore the water, but then some uh, shit's sitting on the bridge for me. I'll go ahead and take that out, and I think I already, uh, nope, I didn't come across this bridge already. There really is a lot of shit in this level, holy crap. Okay, so that was, uh, what was that, we're, are we on 17 enemies now, out of the 20 we need? Yeah, we're really almost done with those, uh, with that power-up. And then we've got a whole bunch of gems cramped in here, and I still haven't checked out the river. <laughs> Barely half done with this place, okay. I think that's all, that's all from this area, so now let's check out that river, Wee! Gems at the bottom, as you do. And, ooh, it's a duck. Can I, can I kill it? No. I can't kill it. You know, that's, got, that's kind of a weird gaming habit now that I think about it. Whenever I see something I don't recognize, the first thing I try to do is kill it, rather than figure out what it's for. So, I guess that duck is maybe part of an orb challenge, because we can't interact with it. Um, but anyway, moving right along, we've got some vases at the bottom of the, um, at the bottom of the river. Perfect place for vases. I know a thing or two about vases. And now we've got, oh boy, quillfish. Saw, we saw a bunch of these uh, yesterday. Actually, no, no, we saw exactly one of these yesterday, but it felt like a bunch of them because it was so fucking hard to deal with. Ah, oh, goddammit. And I see this one's doing the same thing. You know, let me just avoid that. Go for this next one because I need to wait for it to deflate. There we go. And now we'll come back to this other one. And this will actually be our 20th kill, so we can go straight to the power-up. And then, goddammit. Uh, I was hoping he would deflate before he got to me. That didn't work. And... I think that's all. I don't think there's any more gems. Uh, come on, jump. Jump, Spyro, come on. You know how to do this. Your, your entire game is about jumping. Um, yeah, I don't think there's any more gems lined up on the uh, side of the river, so we'll just kind of... I guess I guess if there are, we'll find out later. And yes, here we have our spring jump, but we also have... A, uh, whoa. <laughs> I, see, I see they have some anti-air measures uh, set up. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Um, let me try that again. And there we go. Wonderful. Okay, now let's check out this bridge. And yeah, I always have such good dexterity with these narrow passages that I have to charge enemies onto as we just... You know, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna comment on that this time. Okay, so I think we've got some... Yeah, we've got a whole bunch of gems over here. Go ahead and spiral this back up. And I don't think this is actually connected to the... Yeah, we just have to jump from here. Okay, that's fine. Well enough. And then we got some more over here. Wonderful, wonderful. I see they certainly like to uh, just... Um, Oh, ooh, there's a there's a whirlwind that came up here. I guess this is how we would have gotten up here if it weren't for the power up. That's a uh, that's interesting. Glad I spotted that earlier. But uh, what was I saying about the gems? <laughs> Fucking, I forgot now. Anyway, uh, uh, we got another lemur. Just wait for him to run out of ammo and then just kind of tease us. Fine. How much ammo does he have? Is that just like his reload animation where he just like stands there and taunts you with his ears and his hands in his ears? Actually, were his hands going in his ears? Fucking, I swear I pay attention to these things. I'm no expert, but making faces at the enemy, don't think that's a, don't think that's an effective way to reload your weapon. And what's this spot right here? 
I don't think there's anything else. To, oh yeah, that's the uh, that's the beginning of the level, so we already have everything from there. And next. Oh wait, I saw a fairy in a bottle. Fairy, it's a it's a butterfly. And oh, and there's another uh, frog here. If I kill this one, does it still? Uh, did it reset my uh, life counter for the uh, uh, but ten butterflies? Who knows? Anyway, I see things lined up in a straight-ish line here, and I got them all in one go. Yes, excellent. It's the little victories, because I don't always do that. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's all from over here, yeah. And I saw another uh, spring power-up off to the left-hand side, but I guess that would have been an alternate way up to this area. Actually, no, that would have went, went to a different area, wouldn't it? Let's try that! What's up? I am. Okay, so we're in a different area on top of the uh, platform area. <sighs> I'm so good with the Englishes today. All right, and I see some, yep, gems. And yes, there's always one behind us. And come on, come on. What's wrong with my jump button today? Oh, and I see a hot pot. Can I light it up? No, okay. That must be another thing with an orb challenge. There must be some weird orb challenge in this game. Oh, and then this lets out on top of the... Oh, I can dive in the water here. I'm glad I spotted that before. Okay, we got some more quillfish. Let's just, uh... Actually, let's just see if I can avoid them, because now that the power-ups are active, there's no r real need for me to kill anything. Uh... There we go. And there we go. Just make a charge. Yes! Ooh, that was an accident. <laughs> I was kind of hoping to just jump out of the water, but okay. I'll take that, too. And we've got, uh... We're still not to our 10 butterflies. I feel like I've killed a ton of them already. Somebody who's been keeping count, let me know. Uh -huh. I'm making you keep track of more shit than I am. But anyway, uh... And then uh, we, got some, we got some more water to dive through with some more quillfish, and then... I think I missed the gem that was right down here. Yes. Good job, Sparks! Um... And then this lets out up here, and I see a balloon just inexplicably carrying a vase. Okay, that makes sense. Got this guy, and another monkey lemur. I'll just chill. Reload! Okay, no, his hands didn't go in his ears. They were just kind of flapping back and forth, I guess. That's an animation cliche. And we've got some more gems over here. And, 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 and... How many times have I... Oh, whatever. Okay, that goes back to the cave that we just went into. I saw the end of the level this way, but I ignored it. What's up, this guy? What? Oh, hmm. Snoozle the I water wizard. Have dozed off there. Gully, looks can we, like can we just take a minute to appreciate how somebody yeah, purposely named their kid Snoozle? And, um, don't mention my little nap to and he left the fountain switch off. Okay. Yeah, your, your secret's safe with me, buddy. Can we also take a minute to appreciate that the uh, fountain that, that powers these guys' magic just inexplicably has an off switch? Geniuses. Okay, so we've got to... Mm, ah. We've got a wall, and then we've got some water. Are there gems in here? No, there are no gems in here. What the fuck? This game is this game is baiting me now. Okay. Okay. Oh, what the f <laughs> Okay, there's no gems in that water. We know that. Um. <clears throat> nope, nope. No further comment. And then, uh, oh, we've got another one here. I guess we've, uh, I guess we've got to make this jump here somehow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we didn't need to make, we didn't need to make that jump. Oh, and we've got another, um, we've got another blue butterfly. That's cool. Yeah, I really feel like I've killed 10 frogs now, but they haven't given me an extra life for it, so I guess when I catch one of these, uh, when I catch one of the butterflies in the bottle, it resets my counter. And we've got some more gems scattered around this guy, who ah, has... Ah, uh, Spyro, this rotten guy knows me, apparently. I must be famous. A bunch of rotten thieves stole his spark plugs. plugs. Okay, yes, I remember this challenge. Also, I assume he's talking about his Jeep, but it's funny that he just kind of says spark plugs without mentioning what they're for. Okay, so this one, we've got some thieves that uh, that now appear in the level, and we have to chase them around. But they're not the same as the uh, lamp thieves back from... How do I get that vase? This isn't... It's not low enough for me to jump from here. I guess I'll come back to that. But these... Uh, okay, hang on. Does this water have terrain? Does this Kool-Aid have terrain? Fucking hell. It has, like, ridges and shit, and they're not moving. They're not, like, waves. They're just, like, static. Okay, they're, they're barely moving, but it still looks like they're the elevation of the water is actually different. Like this, it has landforms. It's, I don't think this is water. Anyway, oh yeah, I think we already established it wasn't water. My memory is so awesome. Okay, so we've got to uh, find those thieves, but they are, oh what? I haven't been in this water tunnel apparently, because there's, there's gems here. Uh, Okay, I guess that's a dead end. Oh, wait, no, this lets out back to where I was. Okay, there's one. There's one of our thieves. Actually, I don't think we're going to have time to do this challenge right now, because we're uh, already getting towards the end of the episode, time-wise. 
but yeah, they're like some kind of wallaby slash otter slash flying squirrel thing. We'll get to those. But first, um, how many gems are left in the level? 13. Hmm. I'll be right back. Actually, wait a second. That vase right there. I, I doubt it has all 13, but uh, I feel like I should try it out. Actually, hmm. Let me, uh, this thing? Let me this thing. You know, the wrong direction. Glide, glide. Can I do it? Yes! Okay, well, those are tenor. That's cool. But that's not everything. We've got we've got three more. Fucking three. Where are there going to be three gems? That's such a weird number. It is actually an odd number. Well, I, hmm. I was going to say I'll be right back, but I saw, I saw a twinkle just now. Oh, and the fountain's on. I just noticed the fountain's on. <laughs> okay, I guess that means the animals aren't going to attack us anymore, right? Okay, but yeah, there's a twinkle in the distance. I'm going to go check that out. And we've got to... Okay, it was right here. Ah, wait, no, I see it. Off to the left-hand side. Yes, this is... This is the building that had the whirlwind in it, but we're supposed to glide around this, and to, there's some walkable area right here. Ha ha ha, and there's three gems. I counted them. All right, well, there's our 400 out of 400. That is all the gems from... What's the name of this level? Mystic Marsh. I knew that. And also, we've got the professor here, so I guess that's our other orb challenge. We've got... Yep, three orbs left, three orbs in this level. We've already got the one, and there's, yep, we've discovered where the other two challenges are. So, this is where we're going to be picking up next time. I will catch you guys then. Peace out. Trainer Mia. Oh, this is the other guy's sister, apparently. This is exciting. Ooh, he survived that. Wasn't expecting that one. Okay. Water sport. Okay, going wakeboarding. I think I used that joke already. Um, going waterboarding. Yes. Ah, uh, shit, why can't I ever hit with that attack? And then, ah, uh, fuck, I used the wrong down A. Okay, now let's, let's let's go ahead and go, Mega. I didn't want to do this, but we might not have a choice if I'm going to win this match. Let's go ahead and use our uh, Frenzy Plant. That's not actually Frenzy Plant. Do our fierce, uh, fierce Counter. This is going to be a kill shot because his health is already so low. But what I do not like about this, obviously, is now he is going to start the uh, next round with his burst gauge nearly full, and we are going to start with none. So the next round is going to be, uh, it's going to be tough. But it's... <laughs> Doing that was basically the only way I could have run, I could have won that last round. So, oh, never mind. Nearly full. His burst gauge actually is full. So we're just gonna have to stay the fuck back from him.